Okay, so in this problem we're converting our volume of water to the mass of water and you're going to need a set of several conversion factors. So that's quite a few. One yard equals three feet, one foot equals 12 inches, one inch equals 2.54 centimeters, one centimeter cubed equals one mil, one mil equals one gram, one gram or one kilogram equals a thousand grams and one kilogram equals 2.205 pounds. So uh, this problem kind of forces you to uh, not expand out your cube uh, conversion factors to cancel them because you don't have much room on your page to do all of those cancellations. So remember you can do it the shortcut way um, by putting parentheses around the whole conversion factor and putting a cube. But also remember when you do that, you have to cube that number too. So like in the first conversion factor, you got a three, three feet. You got to remember to uh, cube three to get 27. Okay. So if you don't do that, you don't cube 12, you don't cube 2.54, you're going to get some weird number. But anyway, so, um, you should be past that by now because we've been doing several of these problems where we showed us how to expand it and then to contract it and just do the cube. So by this time, hopefully you can do that. So anyways, we're going to cancel out yards cubed by putting yards in the bottom. And then we have feet cubed. And we're going to cancel that out by putting feet in the bottom. Centimeters up top. Now we have centimeters cubed. Now our life's a little bit easier because we're going from cubed units to non-cubed units. Um, so cancel out our centimeters cubed um, with the centimeters cubed equals one mil conversion factor. And then using the density of water, one gram is one mil, so we can cancel that out. And then of course uh, we want to get rid of grams, so we can use our kilograms. Uh, to cancel that out, so one kilogram equals a thousand grams, put that gram unit on the bottom. And lastly, we know the conversion factor to pounds, so pounds up top, kilograms on the bottom, cancels out, so multiply all that by 2.205 pounds. And you're gonna get some number 1685.8 or something like that. Uh, you gotta round that to two sig figs, okay? Why? Because your, uh, your number given in the problem, of course, had two sig figs. So 1.7 times 10 cubed pounds, or you can say 1,700 pounds, 1,700. No dot after the last zero. Okay. Let me know if there are any questions on this one. Pretty good problem.